Hello everyone and welcome to Shore DMP Online videos to profile DMP Online features. In today's video, I'll explain how to ensure that you have published your template with the most recent changes. You may need to update your existing template because of various reasons rather than making a new one. In this video, I'll explain what you have to do when making these changes in order to ensure that the latest version of your template will be published for your users. So today I'll be using the example of our newest founder template, a Swiss National Science Foundation. And in here you can see the template. I have already published a template before a few weeks ago, but I decided to add some changes. So in order to ensure that the changes will be visible for the users, I'll have to go back to the front page, select my template, and although in here the status says it has been published, there is this red icon and it actually says that I have unpublished changes and I have to select publish changes in the actions menu when I'm ready to make them available for our users. So I go here into actions and I click here publish changes. And you can see now the icon has disappeared and the template is fully available for the users. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. And just for your information, we are putting together tutorial videos for DMP Online administrators these days as a step-by-step -step guide for setting up your DMP Online. If there is anything in specific um, you wish us to explain, please get in touch with us at dmponline at dcc.ac.uk and I'll ensure we will profile these for you. Goodbye.